Hello, everyone. I'm Tasha burke Peart, Technology Program Specialist with the Department of Educational Technology. And welcome to our first virtual learning experience uh, for this December 2021. We are here at the Palm Beach County Library System, the Wellington Branch, and we wanted to share with you all the wonderful resources that the public library has available for you. We want you to make sure you get that library card if you don't already have one, because there is a lot, a lot available here um, to help us throughout all stages of your life. So I'm here right now with the assistant branch manager of the Wellington branch, uh, Mrs. Kat Ng. And we're going to talk to you a little bit about the library. Kat's going to give us a wonderful tour of the renovated Wellington branch. And we want you to know that even though we're broadcasting from the Wellington branch, the things that we share with you, you'll be able to get at any one of the 17 locations in Palm Beach County. So welcome, Kat. How are you? Good. Thank you, Tasha. I'm so happy that you are joining us here today for a tour of our lovely new, newly renovated Wellington branch. Um, just a little history to start off with. Uh, Wellington Branch first opened in 1997. The original library was 8,000 square feet and what is now the children's section. In 2007, it was expanded um, to include uh, all the, the new areas up out to 30,000 square feet. And then just this past year, we were closed for about 10 or 11 months um, just to renovate and uh, bring you this lovely new branch with uh, bright lighting, LED lighting, and some wonderful uh, new rooms and spaces that I hope you will come and use. Absolutely. So why don't we just get ready on our tour? We're going to walk around and show you a display that they have uh, for all of our Florida history buffs. Right this way. And this is in uh, collaboration with the Historical Society of Palm Beach County um, and the, the Palm Beach County History Museum. These are traveling displays. You'll get to see them throughout the county um, at the different library locations. And I hope you come and uh, maybe learn something about Florida history. I know I did. I, I actually, this side right here was really interesting to me to find out a little bit about the Belle Glade culture and the native culture that was there beforehand. Um, so I am really excited to show you what this library looks like. So let's take a look at the newly renovated Wellington branch. Um, coming along here, we have 31 computers for everyone to use. We have public printing services. You can come and print um, your papers that you need. And we have lots of study space, open tables, and um, some new pods over there, charging stations, and of course, lots of books and DVDs and CDs. And we're just gonna head over here and show you the teen room, a room just for teens, and some study rooms. So while we're walking over to uh, the teen room, I just wanted to take a minute to show you the Wellington Libraries, I mean, and not just the Wellington Library, but the Palm Beach County Libraries website. So the website is pbclibrary.org. And when you get to this website, here's one thing I wanna highlight. Under the digital media, which you'll find in the right side, up top, if you click on that digital media, you can see all the additional things that you can do with your library card. You can get ebooks, you can get videos, music. There's a lot happening here at the library. In addition to that, up top where the event section is, this is where you can keep tabs on the events. We will be going back to in person events at some point in 2022. But right now, this is where you can search for digital events, uh, virtual events, everything from um, adult program to teen program to children's programming, storybook time. We actually have a story time that we're going to share with you today. But we're back at uh, the team room, which is a very awesome cozy space. So let's take a look. 
Yes, this room is just for teens. You'll find our young adult uh, collection of books on the shelves here. There are some cozy study spaces and six computers for teens to use. And all the other branches in the system have their own teen rooms as well. So go look for those at your local branch. So if you're looking for a nice, quiet place to study, please go visit your local branch of the library and visit the teen room and check out some of these awesome titles um, that we have available for you. So now what we're going to do is um, the children and teens librarian at Lantana. So let's switch gears before we go to our story. We have a wonderful um, video to show you how the green screen operates in the creation station. So this is actually very cool. We have a wonderful green screen set up in our creation station. So let's take a look at that video. So now we are back here. Uh, this is our creation station. It's a special room, um, which is pretty much a digital media lab. You can come in here. We have a green screen wall, just like you saw in that video. Uh, just now with the stop motion, um, here is the lunar lander, actually, that was in that video. And you could come in here, use our devices and film your own videos. We have LED photography lights right here. Um, we have the sound panels to make sure your recording sounds great. And when um, we get our new equipment in, we don't have it currently yet, we'll have iMac computers with a, the full Adobe Creative Cloud suite. And we have a podcasting microphone right here. With the headphones, we'll have the software for that. We'll have some sound mixing boards. And anyone is welcome to come in here, reserve the room for a couple of hours, and use all the equipment that we have available. So right now, um, there are a couple of additional branches that have creation stations. The main library on Summit has a creation station. And then the Lantana branch, which will be opening in January, January, will have a creation station. But we do have 13 branches that have what? What is it that they have? They are called pop-up media labs. It's um, just a set of equipment that are similar to the, the microphone, the computer, the software. Uh, that uh, staff will be using to present uh, programs and activities for the public. So I know a lot of you have um, projects where you could definitely use a green screen and um, also this podcasting equipment. So please, please make sure that you check with your public library so that you can um, you can come and use the equipment. And um, the pop-up media labs at the other branches um, have the pop-up green screen, the retractable one, not the portable one. So you may see that around in activities. So we have one more thing that we want to show you out here before we get to our story time, and that is the co-space. Co-space is a great new feature and one of my favorite new rooms after the renovation here. space right here. So if you're looking to get together with a group um, to do some studying, this is a perfect space to do that. Yes, um, and we are still waiting on some equipment for this room. We will have some sound panels to uh, make this room a nice quiet space for you to study. And we'll have a smart board on the wall uh, for uh, classes or, or studying that we can use. And we will be presenting library programs in this room, too. So uh, 
What we're going to do right now is now we get a chance to hear that story. So, Ms. Bea Barreca from uh, Lantana Branch is going to read a story. It's called Remarkably You, and she's reading it in English and in Spanish. So let's take a look at the story, and then we'll meet you in the children's se section. Hello, friends. I am Miss Bea, and today I'm going to share with you a very special book. Hola, amigos. Soy Miss Bea, y hoy voy a compartir con vosotros un libro muy especial. Are we ready? Everybody ready? ¿Todos preparados? El título del libro es Extraordinariamente Tú, escrito por Pat Sidlow Miller. The title of the book is Remarkably You, written by Pat Sidlow Miller. Let's see what our friends are up to. Vamos a ver qué están haciendo nuestros amigos. You might be bold, you might be loud, it's in parades drawing a crowd. Puedes ser audaz, puedes ser ruidoso, puedes dirigir desfiles y atraer multitudes. You might be timid, you might be shy, quietly watching your neighbors go by. Puedes ser tímido, puedes ser vergonzoso, silenciosamente viendo como tus vecinos pasan. You might be small, one tiny sprout, learning new things when you are out and about. Puede ser pequeño, puede ser un brote diminuto, aprendiendo cosas nuevas cuando vas de un lado a otro. You might be big, practically grown, coming and going with friends of your own. Puede ser grande y haber crecido y viniendo con tus propios amigos. No matter your volume, your age or your size, you have the power to be a surprise. You have the know-how, you are savvy and smart. You could change the world. Are you willing to start? No importa tu volumen, tu edad o tu tamaño. Tú tienes el poder de ser una sorpresa. Sabes cómo hacerlo. Eres inteligente y puedes cambiar el mundo. ¿Quieres empezar? Are you ready to try, friends? Let's see, vamos a ver. Don't sit on the sidelines. Be part of the fray. Go after your passions a little each day. Not os sentéis en el banquillo. Ser parte de la lucha. Persigue tus pasiones un poco cada día. Find what Nick's fixing. Repair what you can. Then choose a new problem and do it again. Encontrar lo que necesita ser arreglado. Reparar lo que podáis. Elegir un nuevo problema y hacerlo todo otra vez. Let's see. Perhaps you are uncertain. Not sure what to do. Just look for the moments that let you be you. Puede ser que os sintáis inseguros y no sepáis qué hacer. Busca los momentos que os dejan ser vosotros. Like maybe you are funny. A lo mejor sois divertidos, like a friend here, como nuestra amiga. Or bookish. Sois estudiosos, os gusta leer. Or fast. Sois muy rápidos. Or maybe you are always decidedly last. Y a veces podéis llegar tarde. Perhaps you like counting. A lo mejor os gusta contar. Or drawing all day. Puede que os guste dibujar todo el día. Or finding invisible dragons to slay. Os gusta buscar dragones invisibles que vencer. You have your own spirit and parallel flair. So rock what you got every day, everywhere. Tenéis vuestro espíritu, un instinto incomparable. Usad lo que tenéis cada día y en cada lugar. Perhaps you wonder, os gusta pasear, or wonder, os asombráis, or sing, cantar, 
The world needs your voice and the gifts that you bring. El mundo necesita vuestra voz y los regalos que tenéis. You can make a difference in big ways or small. You don't know how much, how much till you give it your all. Podéis hacer la diferencia de manera grande o pequeña, pero no sabéis cuánto hasta que lo intentéis. So find what you are good at, what you have to give. Then go share your sunshine wherever you live. Encontrad lo que os está bien, lo que hacéis bien. What you have to give, lo que podéis dar. Y luego compartir vuestra luz donde quiera que viváis. You might be a helper who's first on the scene. Podéis ser un ayudante que llegáis los primeros a la escena. Or a speller, si, poda, si podéis deletrear. Or a builder, un constructor. A road jumping queen, la reina de saltar a la comba. Do you like jumping rope? A swimmer who needs, un nadador al que le gusta tejer. A chalice who cheers. O una chelista a la que le gusta animar. A mat loving, a mat -loving cat cuddler who volunteers. O un voluntario al que le gustan los gatos y los perros callejeros. You are a blessing, a promise, a prize. You are capable, caring, courageous, and wise. Eres una bendición, una promesa y un regalo. Eres capaz, amable, valiente y sabio. You might go unnoticed or shine like a star, but wherever you go and whoever you are, don't change how you act to be just like the rest. Believe in yourself and the things you do best. Puede que pases desapercibido o que brilles como una estrella, pero donde quiera que vayas y quien quiera que seas, no cambies como actúas para ser como los demás. Cree en ti mismo y las cosas que haces mejor. It's your friend. She's the best. Right? ¿Veis nuestra amiga aquí? Es la mejor. So whether you are daring or careful or kind, embrace who you are and the way you are designed. Dream your own dreams, hear your own heart. You could change the world, you just have to start. No importa si eres atrevido o cuidadoso o amable, acepta quién eres y cómo estás diseñado. Sueña tus sueños. Escucha a tu corazón. Tú podrías cambiar el mundo. Solo tienes que intentarlo. Follow your path. Do what you love to do. Be completely, uniquely, remarkably you. Sigue tu camino. Haz lo que amas hacer. Sé completamente Únicamente, extraordinariamente, tú. The end. El fin. I hope you like the story. Espero que os gustase la historia. This book and other books like this one are available to you at any of our branches. You just need to stop by and get a library card. You will be able to access online resources and many activities. You just need to stop by to see us. Espero que os gustase la historia. Este libro y muchos, muchos otros están disponibles en nuestras sucursales. Lo único que necesitáis es una tarjeta de la biblioteca. Hay actividades virtuales y tenéis otros libros, audiolibros y materiales digitales que podéis utilizar con vuestra tarjeta. Esperamos veros pronto. We hope to see you soon. Bye. Adiós. 
That was great. I love that story. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Remarkably you, because it just celebrates our uniqueness. And I really like that. So right now we are in the children's department and this is the, this is, you know, the, the original the library. library. <laughs> yes. Um, 8,000 square feet. So as you can imagine, it is a, a very nice size children's area. Behind me, you'll see uh, 28 computers for you to use and all of our books and DVDs for children. We also have a very cozy sitting area right here, right by the windows that you can get a beautiful view of our garden area right outside. So Kat, why don't you tell us about the rededication ceremony? That's right. I wanted to invite everyone to come this Saturday morning um, at 10.30 a.m. for the rededication and ribbon cutting ceremony we'll have here um, for the renovation of our branch. Uh, we'll have some local officials here, county commissioners and administrators, um, and we'll have some take and make activities for the whole family for all ages. And we'll have tables set up in our new rooms in the Creation Station in the co-space so you can come and take a look and see for yourself. So we're really excited about that. And then I also wanted to remind you that the Lantana branch will be opening sometime in January 2022. So we're really looking forward to that as well. Thank you very much for uh, being with us on this virtual tour of the Wellington branch. Thank you for listening to all the wonderful things that the public library has available to us. And on behalf of the entire ed tech uh, department, we'd like to thank you. And I also would like to share with you that we have a couple of additional virtual learning experiences. We will be at the Manatee Lagoon and also um, at the Norton Museum. Um, we love our friends at the Norton Museum and they have uh, some wonderful things to share with us. So again, um, on behalf of EdTech, we thank you for joining us today. And please visit our website at edtechtraining.palmbeachschools.org. That's edtechtraining.palmbeachschools.org. Bye.